This is part 54 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to upload multiple files in ASP.NET Core MVC. This is continuation to our previous video, part 53. So, please watch part 53 before proceeding. This is the same create employee form that we've been working with so far in this video series. When we click this browse button, at the moment, I'm able to select only one file that I want to upload. Even if I hold down the control or shift key and then try to select multiple files, notice the already selected file is automatically getting deselected. Now the first thing that we want to be able to do is allow the user to be able to select multiple files. There is one simple thing that we need to do to achieve this and that is by including multiple attribute on this input element and this multiple attribute supports selecting multiple files. Let's look at this in action. Here is our create view and this is the input element that generates the file upload control. To allow the user to be able to select multiple files, we want to include multiple attribute. Let's save our changes and take a look at the browser. Reload the web page click the browse button. Notice now I am able to select multiple files by holding down the control or shift key and in the file name text box we see the names of the two files that we have selected. To be able to select and post multiple files to the server we need to make one more change on our create view. At the moment this input element is bound to the photo property and this photo property is in our model class employee create view model and that class is right here. Notice at the moment the data type of the photo property is a single iform file. Now to be able to allow the user to be able to post multiple files we want to change this from iform file to list of iform file. Let's also change the name of the property from photo to photos and then bring up Visual Studio refactoring tools by pressing control period. Notice now we have the option to rename all instances of photo to photos. At this point, if we take a look at our create view, notice the property is automatically renamed to photos and the same is true even within our home controller. We have one small issue with the file upload user interface. At the moment, we have multiple files selected, but notice when the file upload control, we only see the name of one of the files. Now, what we want to be able to do is if we have multiple files selected, then we want to display within the file upload control the number of files that we have selected. For example, in this case, we have two files selected. On the other hand, if I select only one file, then we want to display the name of that one file. Here is the jQuery code that could help us do this. To easily understand this jQuery code, I'm going to log dollar this to the browser console and inspect it. Let's comment this jQuery code that we already have here. Log dollar this to the browser console. Build our solution. Notice we have a build failure. That's because of the errors in home controller. Let's fix those errors first. Notice from the IntelliSense model.photos is no longer a single iPhone file. It is a list of iPhone file. So we want to check if model.photos is not equal to null and model.photos.count is greater than zero. If the count is greater than zero, then that means user has uploaded one or more files. So we want to loop through each of the files and execute this piece of code. So let's use a for each loop. As we are looping through, what we are getting back is an iPhone file. So let's create a variable of type iPhone file. I'm going to call this variable photo. We don't have the required namespace. So let's bring that in. We want to loop through model.photos. Inside this for each loop, instead of using model.photos, we want to use our loop variable photo. Let's do the same on this line as well. Build our solution. Build succeeded. So let's reload our web page. Remember, on our create view, in the jQuery code, in on change event handler, we are logging dollar this to the browser console. So let's launch browser developer tools by pressing F12. Click on the console tab 
and then click the browse button select multiple files that we want to upload notice we have an array of input elements that have this class custom file input logged to the browser console that's because at the moment within our jquery code we are in the change event handler of input elements that have this class custom file input at the moment within our create view we only have one input element with this class and that is our file upload control which is right here so within the array here if i expand this we only have one element and we can see that by looking at the length property and that one file upload control is present at index position zero so if we expand this and scroll down in the list of properties that we have notice we have files property and the length of this is two because we have selected two files the first file is present at index position zero which is david.png and the second file is present at index position one which is sarah.png with this information in mind it is easy to understand this jquery code we'll get to this first line of code in just a bit we're using dollar this here to get a reference to the array that contains all the input elements that have the class custom file input we know on our create view we only have one such input element and that input element is present at index position zero and we know our file upload control has got files property so we are storing that in this variable if the length of files is greater than one that means the user has selected more than one file so we are appending to the length this string files selected so for example if we have two files selected then this string two files selected is displayed in this variable file label and here is that variable so what is this doing this is selecting the input element that has the class custom file label and if we look at our html it is this label that is present next to the input element so within this label we want to display that string so we are selecting that here and then displaying the string and we are doing that if we have selected more than one file on the other hand if we have selected just one file length will be one in that case we know that one file is present at index position zero in this files collection and we are getting the name of that file so if we have one file selected we display the name of that file in the interest of time i've already copied this code to the clipboard let's paste it within on change event handler right here save our changes and take a look at the browser notice now if we select a single file we see the name of that file and if we select multiple files we see two files selected let's fill in the rest of the employee details i'm going to name this employee test test at test.com and let's select his department as it and create this new employee there we go we have our new employee created we can see this new employee on our list view as well now let's take a look at the images folder in file explorer this is the folder into which our files are uploaded on the server the top two files are the files that we have just uploaded we have uploaded these two files in our previous demo at the moment you might be wondering for this new employee that we have just created we uploaded two photos but on this view we are displaying only one photo for this employee why is that well that's because at the moment there is a one-to-one -one relationship between employee details and their photo name that's because both the details are stored in one database table which is employees so let's take a look at that table now in sql server object explorer expand local db databases employee db tables we want to view employees data notice the photo path is stored along with the rest of the employee details at the moment this is the file that is associated with the new employee that we have just created the file name ends with bb1 underscore sarah dot png and that's what is displayed on our view right here 
Now, if you want to store multiple photo names for a given employee, then you want to split this one database table into two tables, maybe something like employees and employee photos, and then have one to many relationship between these two tables. We're not going to do that. We want to keep this example simple and forge ahead. We want just a single file to be uploaded for a given employee. So off screen, I'm going to undo all the changes that we have done in this video. We'll implement the rest of the CRUD operations, that is update and delete in our upcoming videos. This is the piece of code that loops through the uploaded multiple files and saves them to the images folder on the server. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.